Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to this is the first video that I'm filming in 2022. So happy new year. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. And now it is 2022. This is going to be our first official thrifting trip. And I am really, really excited about it. Uh, yesterday, it was New Year's Day and we spent it with my family and we went over to my aunt's house and we just pretty much hung out the whole day, ate food, enjoyed good company, and it was just a blast. But today, it is back to business and we're gonna go thrifting. I'm really, really excited though because these past few weeks leading up to the holidays, I haven't really gone thrifting too much, especially like uh, with like Christmas and then New Year's and everything was falling on the weekends, which is when I normally go thrifting. I really haven't gone thrifting at all except for um, the odd few trips to the local ones by my house which were few and far between so I'm really excited um, hopefully 2022 brings us many many thrifting treasures and I want to ask you guys like have you guys gone thrifting yet in the new year and if you have what was one of the coolest first things that you have found so let me know down below in the comments but if you guys love these sorts of videos again don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up add me on Instagram it's Hadrian just like I spelled here and check out the shop it's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale for my thrifting adventures and I also do live sales every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and that schedule is going to go back to normal um, starting this year or starting this week. So I'm really excited about it. Like, hopefully I'll see you guys there and oh join the Discord group. I love the Discord group so much. It's like a fun way for all of us to chat not just you guys with me but you guys can chat with each other and I love that little group that we're building on there and I even have little subgroups as well. If you have specific questions about handbag repairs, authentication questions, either myself or a fellow member of the Thrift Squad can help you guys out because collectively together we have so much knowledge and information and knowledge is power right so uh anyway i'll see you guys over the thrift i'm really excited i'll see you guys uh over there all right all right you guys our first stop of the day the first thrift store of 2022 the goodwill in anaheim off of lincoln let's go inside whoa I'm so excited whoa Look at this console table, it's like brass and like marble. 90 bucks is not the worst. So I have this bench, chairs, this artwork, a mirror. Oh, it's not like an expo. Power banks. Arc Sonic Power Toothbrush. Oh, usually they sell just like teeth whitening stuff. A bunch of cell phone cases. Interesting. I always like to look in here to see what's up because they have some cool stuff in here sometimes. So, for the bags, there's not like a huge selection and there's legit like a ton of people in the store today. I feel like this is the most I've seen this store for lip in like a while. This one, what does that say? Local Babes Club, Los Angeles chapter. <laughs> the bags are actually kind of cute. Um, a lot of these are just like leather, there's the DKNY. A lot of these are Target bags also. Leather. I never know what kind of makeup bag is stuff they have in here, so I always like to check it out. Do I literally have one of these that I like? It's, I've had it for a few years and it's like deflating. I wonder how much this one is. $30? Okay. I have this one too, that's kind of cute. These like full leather chairs are super cute. I think these are from Target too. 40 bucks each. A bunch of scooters. I always like to check the backpack and like tote bag like kind of section just in case there's anything that they put here. Oh, 
without a jumper instead of um, the regular bag section. Guys, I think I found something. Yep, this is a Madewell like satchel. It's six ninety nine. This is super cute. I think we're gonna get this for sure. They have a bunch of Christmas trees still. I think they're half off right now, like all the Christmas stuff. Christmas people. They have a lot of this Neutrogena face wash, Avron, hand sanitizers. This little llama mug is so cute. I first thought it was a Target one, but it's World Market. And even has this little thing where you can put your tea. I don't know if it's cracked. Oh, that's cute though, but I don't think I need that one. But it would be a good gift for a tea drinker. This is cute too. Threshold. Little Target piece. Oh, this little jar is adorable. I wonder if someone made that. Oh, little fish. Ooh. Oh, decorative tray from Studio McGee. $14.99. Originally $25. Bucks. It's actually super cute. I think it's made of travertine. I would use this like in the kitchen for like the soaps, but I know Travertine is super porous. So it would just like soak up all the water and the soap and stuff. So I wouldn't be able to do that. It's definitely only decorative, probably like on a console or like perfumes or stuff inside of there would be adorbs. Oh my gosh, this is a cute little plant. There's a little elephant. More decorative. I think the, this is also Studio Mickey from Target. So much studio movies and Target stuff today. I love that. Oh, they also have this. I actually have the marble version of this. So this is also Opal House, or Target. Opal House this is the Jungle Oak collaboration. I love going to thrift stores to look for like vases and full foliage and pots and stuff. Because you can find some really cute ones at really reasonable prices. But sometimes, you know, just like regular stores are just so expensive. Oh, they have all this full foliage too. Is that from Target? Yeah. Oh, I love this place. 15 bucks. These are like dried up. Are these? Okay, well, some of the starfish are real. I don't know what the other stuff is. Like dried up fruits and gourds or something? Interesting. Really cool baskets. These look like those like snake charmer baskets and like a cobra is gonna come out. <laughs> Ooh, this one's pretty interesting. Oh no, we're in the plate section. Oh, let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Ooh, this is a cute dome. $6.99. I love a crystal bowl. 20 bucks. Where's this made? The sticker is like hard to see underneath. Oh, I love these crystal containers. I never know where they're from though. This like, kind of looks like Mikasa, but I'm not sure. Kind of like this. Like the picture is pretty nice. Measuring cup thing. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Oh, it's like this is like a piece for something that's like missing. It's like supposed to be connecting. I just found this little bud vase, which is so cute. It's actually a Lennox piece. Uh, I almost missed it but because I wrote over it, but it's only $7.99 and it's the color of the day, so it's half off. Ooh, this cake stand is cute. It's a Target one. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. They have actually so many cups right now, and I feel like I don't remember the last time they had this many. And I'm obsessed with cups. You guys already know that. I wonder if we can... Oh, look at that. Anthropology. <gasps> How cute is this little turtle cover? I feel like someone painted this themselves. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. 
So there's a Phantom mug right here. It looks like it broke and someone glued it back together though. I just went around really quick because I didn't really get a look at the plates. And there's a lady with a shopping cart. Trying to get her, so. So, went out. The aisle, so you can pass. But, I can't pass. Like leaves on there and Gibson. I like these faux marble plates. Royal Norfolk. And a little castle. Okay, I don't know why this looks so familiar. Like, this is okay. The print or the bowl is Hotch Potch Alphabet Williamsburg. But I feel like some designer did something very similar to this. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at this teapot. <gasps> How? Thinking cute. Oh no, this is also too cute. This little bear mug. $3.99. Oh my gosh, why am I obsessed with this? It has little butterflies and flowers. Ah, it's so cute! Of course, cordon bleu. Oh, so adorable. Ooh, crystals. From Marshalls. This is for a candle, right? I wonder how much this is. $6.99? Stop, this is also very pretty. Mm. Ooh, a double barrel cut. I wonder if this is bottom or whatever. <laughs> oh, got one of these. This is a... Studio McGee piece. I actually have one of these that I got from the Goodwill a while back as well. Oh, these are fun. They're like obelisks that are some pepper stickers. The colors are cool too. I managed to find like one listing of them on eBay. They're $25 together. Two of them for six bucks. Cute, but I mean, I, would, I wouldn't put these out. They're not like my aesthetic or style. But I know there's someone else's, and I think they're really, really cute. I think I gotta get them, they're so cool. Of course, I gotta go through here and look to see if they have any hydroflask for Yetis. I mean, got to. Can I find any hydroflask for Yetis? No. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I wanted to show you guys what we ended up getting from the Goodwill today. Uh, I think I found some pretty cool stuff, so I can't wait to share them with you. So let's just jump into it. Let me start off. Um, I just grabbed a couple of these hand sanitizers just because the one that I had in the car was empty already, or was like running empty, and uh, they were four for they were four for a dollar. So got a couple of these. I left two of them inside the car, and I just brought two into the house. And then I found this beautiful little bud vase, and this is a Lennox crystal bud vase. Just nice and pretty. We love a bud vase. Uh, we have a ton of flowers that always grow in the backyard. And this would be like nice, just like, you know, display a little flower or two every once in a while. And yeah, $7.99, but it was half off. So it was like four bucks. That's a deal on that. Then I got these bowls and I, I feel like Supreme or something did like some sort of collaboration and did something very similar with like these letters. Uh, but this one is actually by um, Andrea by Static Hotchpotch Alphabet Williamsburg what it's written on the bottom. These were $2.99 each. And I looked it up. These bowls are actually pretty expensive. And I was like, whoa. But I really, really liked them. I'm probably not going to sell them. I'm probably just going to keep them and use them. But I think they're fun. And they're quirky. And you can eat out of these. But then you can also just use them kind of like as a decorative object on a console. Like if you have like a stack of books, you can put this on top. You can kind of use that as a catch-all. You can put your keys in here, jewelry, or whatever next to your nightstand, or on your nightstand, or whatever. So I thought that these were pretty versatile. You could do a lot with these. And yeah, so I picked these guys up. Really excited. Can these go in the dishwasher? Do they say dishwasher is safe on them? I probably won't put them in the dishwasher. I don't want them to get messed up. But these were, oh, they're from 1995. 
So that's cool. Uh, and then I just got one last thing. And I actually found this um, Madewell mini crossbody satchel bag. It's in this like taupe gray color. It has this drawstring around it and the sides kind of like cinch up if you wanted to. It also has a magnetic, oh uh, no, it doesn't have a magnetic strap. It has a crossbody strap with an adjustable strap and then the in in inside just has a zipper pocket and this guy was $6.99. So I'm actually going to remove this sticker because I don't want it to mess up the leather right there. Okay. But yeah, it's just a great little bag. It's in pretty great condition and we love a good made well tote. But I believe... That is everything that I purchased from that store. Just a quick little haul today, but uh, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos that I put up um, throughout the week. I did a lot of thrifting today, and the rest of the videos are going to be going up um, after this one. So hit that bell notification so you're notified when those new videos do go up. And check out the live sales every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do a giveaway every single night as well. So yeah, it's free to join and it's super fun. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, adios.